wisdom is that if you are overweight, you are unhealthy. And if you're thin, you're healthy. Well, new research points to just how dangerous being skinny can be. If you are a skinny fat person, that is. Here to discuss how to become a healthy skinny person is Dr. Jenny Wilkins, owner of Age Vital Pharmacy. Another interesting topic we're going to cover today. And I crack people up with that term, Nancy. I know. <laughs> did you come up with that term? I did. I coined it. I'm gonna. I have to. I have to trademark that one. Yes, <laughs> because, you do. Because all my customers come in, and you know, I'm like, you're a skinny fat person, and then they're shocked. What, did what, you just call me fat? What does that yeah. mean, right? I've it, worked all my life to be skinny. You right, know? Like, right. But they, they watch everything that they eat and they're thinking because they starve themselves that that makes them healthy because their exactly. scale says one number. In women especially, we're mental. If that scale says a number, even though you look thin and fit, but if that scale is not where you're mentally wanting it to be, we freak out, I know. right? But we can't be like that, we're too hard. It's called, you know, the skinny fat is actually metabolically obese. What does it mean to be metabolically obese? Right. You're as healthy as the quality of your arteries, mm -hmm. right? Is that so, the BMI when you go to the doctor? Yep, BMI, that's what basal metabolic rate, yep. and then you have your BMR, you know, uh, your, uh, that's another, you know, metabolism right. uh, analysis as well. Okay. But what, what it means to be metabolically obese, it means your arteries are clogged. You're starting to uh, store this visceral toxic uh, poisons. So and this can, can happen when you're young. It can happen when you're young. And look at our foods, Nancy. Yeah. Look at everything that is being fed to us with this fast food. We're in a go, 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 go society. Mm -hmm. And everybody's all about, you know, quick and accessible. And you have the McDonald's and the Burger Kings and the Taco right. Bells. And that adds up. And people eat like that right. on a daily but, basis. But even the people that don't, like you said, the people that are thin, probably don't eat so much. Or they're not eating enough. Or they're not eating enough. Right, and then when they do binge eat, or they mm -hmm. have that one meal, the body stores it as fat because it goes into starvation mode. It thinks that you're starving yourself. Right. It does that with water. So not drinking this, enough water, is you this what the get term water is? retention. Yes. Is this what the term That's is? That's exactly what fat? that is. So your body, you shouldn't eat everything all at once because your body then stores right. it as fat? Yes, and you don't want it to store. Okay. You don't want to have these rainy day reserves because your body's thinking that you're starving yourself or you're not hydrating yourself okay. enough. So you have to make sure that you're eating, number one, every two hours. When you're eating, you want to make sure that you're, you stay on top of your glucose. And what I mean by that is making sure that your sugar never drops. You never want to feel hungry. When you're feeling hungry, that's a bad sign. You never want to eat you know, after you feel hungry because then you're storing it as fat. You want to eat and stay satiated throughout the whole entire day. And you don't have to eat a lot. You don't have to eat a lot. Does it have to be sugars though, or can it be a protein or a combination of fat and protein? Yep, I tell people either pick a carbohydrate meal or pick a protein meal. And what I mean by that is, you know, for breakfast, for example, I had a waffle and uh, yogurt this morning and I put fruit on my waffle, but I didn't have any protein with it. When you combine the two, you have two different digestive processes going. Your large intestine, your small intestine's competing for absorption, and then it takes longer for your body to metabolize it out. Okay. It takes over 24 hours, and that's what gives you that heavy, heavy bloated feeling, feeling mm -hmm. or the GERD, or the acid reflux, or you just feel like, oh my gosh, what did I do? You get that Buddha belly. Yeah. You don't want that Buddha belly. So either pick your carbohydrate dish with no animal protein, or have your eggs with sausage and yogurt and fruit for breakfast. That's a healthy meal. No carb. Yeah, no carb with it. No toast. Okay. Americans okay. combine the pancakes with the sausage right. and the eggs and everything's together. Your body's not meant to design that. What about Act your like snacks? That. You said every eat every two hours. Yep. Do you suggest a sugar or a protein or does it Usually matter? Usually a fruit, a handful of nuts, okay. or some hummus with like some pita bread. I always have like you so know two nectarines. Fats. Yeah, healthy or, fats. Okay. Yep. So you pick one or the other, or even if it's like gluten-free pretzels, for example. At least you satiated yourself, but you're only focused on that you know a handful of pretzels. Right. So you're snacking so that sugar doesn't drop. You don't get hangry. That's another term I use. Yes. Where you're hungry and angry. Yes. I get like that if I don't eat. I if do it's too. two hours. Oh my god. It's like give me some food yeah. and nobody gets hurt. So <laughs> the, the skinny fat person. That's where the what you eat. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. Come, it's not true. Yep. You are what in. you're absorbing. Okay, they're not so absorbing anything. They're not absorbing yep. anything. And so then when how, they, how do you change this? How do you prevent that from, from happening? Lifestyle dietary changes. Okay. So as we just discussed. And that's and huge I have, for people though. Yeah. So, so if you, if you want to do that, I mean, I think we all want to be healthy. How do you begin to do that without changing your whole life around and your whole family schedule so around? So you start really small. Okay. You know, if you can't, if you're combining your proteins and your carbohydrates, I tell 
people come into my store and get my enzymes. You know, at least those enzymes are in there working for you and it's helping push through and metabolize all of those fats and the proteins and the sugars. Because okay. that's really what so enzymes, enzymes do. So what yep. do we have but here? This is for weight loss, for skinny fat people. You know, okay. how do you lose weight the healthy way? I love the Garcinia Cambogia because that suppresses your hunger and it regulates your sugar. It acts very much like tryptophan. Mm -hmm. That's really what Garcinia, it's a mango extract. Okay. And mango is a power fruit. That's it's great. so beneficial for you. Amino acids, amino acids helps you to build more muscle and more muscle equals weight loss, right? So you're losing the bad fat and not compromising muscle growth. Mm -hmm. And then I have my Aroma Dim. This is if someone's gaining weight because they have, they induced a hormonal issue because they're one of those skinny fat people that's not eating, they're messing with their endocrine system. So this is an estrogen blocker. Too much estrogen, especially for women, equals unwanted fat. And there are markers in the body when you can tell when someone's a skinny fat person. You can see this double chin. You yep. ever see that skinny person yep. with a pooch right here yep. underneath the chin? And I'm always with my husband at restaurants like, she'll be overweight in five <gasps> years. Or I know, he's like, Jenny, stop. I was like, but it's true. It's like, I want to help her right now. She's a yeah. walking time bomb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and awesome. then the adrenal pro when someone's stressed out. Yep. And then when someone's under stress, they either overeat or they undereat. I know when I'm stressed, True. I don't want to eat. And then you lose weight from that. And then and some people, they'll comfort food. Yep. They're stressed out, they eat their entire kitchen. They eat their entire house, and that's not healthy. Okay. <laughs> so again, where can we find you? Age Vital Pharmacy is at 1618 Main Street in Sarasota, Florida. We're a national pharmacy, so they don't necessarily have to come into our store. Okay. They can give us a call. All right. Or look Great. us up in the web. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thank you, Thank Nancy. you again, doctor. Star Financial's Esther Holt is back with us and we'll be back after the break.